Hi, my name is Sydney Howard, and this is a demo of my term project for the Fundamentals of Programming course 15112 at Carnegie Mellon University. I chose to create a project called Draw It that allows users to create virtual art with the tools provided in the application. To learn about the tools available, you can click on the Help button, and it displays a description of what each button does. The first and most basic instrument is the brush tool. Users can draw on the canvas in whichever color they choose. And if you look in the corner, there is a color wheel. And you can choose any color on here. And also you can adjust the brush size. There is also a stamp tool, which first starts off in the shape of a star. However, you can change the size of the stamp as well as the number of points in the star. As you can see here, it now becomes a triangle. Loop put it back to normal. There it is. Users, users have the ability to create figures with as small as 3 points to about 10 points or more. In addition, there's an option to change the slope of the lines in the shape. Essentially, I'm just changing the inner radius of the shape. In addition to this, there is an eraser tool which allows users to erase areas of the canvas. And similar to the brush tool, you can change the size of the eraser tool. A necessary tool in any drawing application is the clear button. This just turns the canvas back to how it was initially. The import tool gives you the option to upload a picture from your computer and place the picture on the canvas wherever you would like. And JPEGs are only required for this. In this demo, I'm going to be uploading a picture of my professor, Professor Cosby. And this was taken from his website and I'm citing it, of course. <laughs> and you can place it anywhere on the screen. Another utility is the text tool. You can click anywhere on the screen and start typing to place a text. Yay! Next is a unique square tool in which users are able to select a portion of the canvas and it creates a unique sticker based on the area of the canvas that was selected. Now if you look at the bottom, there's the sticker, and you can click on it and place it anywhere on the screen that you'd like. Lastly, the Save button essentially just saves the art you created to a folder in which the Python code is stored in. So if you go up here and you save it, so in this case, I have it stored in my 15112 folder on my desktop, and I just took the screenshot right here. There it is. In picture. With Draw It, the possibilities to create anything are endless. Thank you for watching.